This is Rebecca Sadam, one of the librarians at Oakton Community College, with a brief lesson for library staff on how to use SpringShare's LibGuides Link Checker tool. Link Checker's report of broken or unreachable database assets, link assets, and sometimes book assets is an important tool for maintaining up-to-date and credible LibGuides for our library users. This Link Checker lesson will demonstrate how to identify and edit broken links and how to dismiss links from the report. Our first step is to view the Link Checker report. I'll be using a regular level account belonging to the fictitious faux Becca Riverwall. I'm going to go over to the Lib Apps drop down menu and select LibGuides. We are now looking at the LibGuides dashboard. I scan the orange command bar, locate the tools shortcut, use the drop down menu there, and select Link Checker. A report appears. The top part is filled with text that has useful instructions and explanations, and I do recommend that you take a look at this later. We scroll down to find the report of currently broken and unreachable links. This report includes a variety of categories, such as actions, the title of the resource, the type of resource, URL, and the owner. Check the owner column for broken links that belong to this account. This, of course, is just a simulation. In real life, if your name doesn't appear in the owner column, you can stop right here. Note that there are two items on this list that belong to other account holders. They both have an eye-shaped icon. Like most Oakton Library LibGuide accounts, we are using a regular level account that can only edit the links that it owns. So before taking action, go to the URL column and test each of the links that belong to this account. We're going to test this one right here. It's Newspaper Cat, the catalog of digital historical newspapers. And by all appearances, it seems to be working just fine. Probably a false positive, which is something that is explained in greater detail at the top of the link checker report page. Since this link is working, you can probably go back and dismiss it from the current report with the trash can icon. The trash can icon is located right over here in the actions column. But before I dismiss it, I do want to make a comment that even a well-functioning link may benefit from an update if, for example, the name has changed or perhaps the site has upgraded from HTTP to HTTPS. This time, we're just going to go ahead and dismiss this from the report by clicking on that icon and note that it did it immediately. It didn't ask us if we really, really wanted to do that. It just went ahead and dismissed it. And that probably has a lot to do with the fact that the trash can icon here does not delete the link from our system or from the guide in which it appears. It only removes it from this particular link checker report. Our next step is to edit actual broken links. If you find a broken link that belongs to you, you can use your everyday librarian research skills to find the new URL. For the purposes of this video lesson, we are focusing on a situation in which a new URL is available and can be put in right away. I'm going to take a look at this one right here. It's the 2018 Illinois Human Trafficking Task Force Report. And boy, does this have problems. That site cannot be reached. It needs to be fixed. To fix it, we look over here and find this editing icon. It's a bit hard to make out, but that icon depicts a pencil and a writing surface of some kind. Now, an Add Edit Content box appears. And we can get a sense of what the problem is with the link URL. 
but because this is a training video, I already have the proper URL saved away. I'm going to put it in, scroll through this to make sure that I did in fact get it pasted in properly. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Take note of the fact that from all appearances, it doesn't appear that anything's changed. Now, one of the things I could do is just reload the page. And I see that my new URL is reflected. However, it's still appearing on the report. So before I dismiss it, I'm going to make sure it actually works. It works. I'm going to close that tab, go back to the report, look over in the Actions column, and I'm going to dismiss this link from the report. So we're now down to six entries, four of which still belong to the Fobeca Riverwall account. What if you decide that you want to remove a broken or otherwise unwanted link from a guide altogether? Let's take a look at that kind of situation. For example, this thing right here, Kombinir Tezuka, doesn't work. It fails quite badly, and I frankly don't want it anymore. But where is it? Because when we go over to the Asset column and click on that Edit icon, there isn't really anything here that allows me to outright delete the link from the guide itself. And that's where this section right up here that says Guide Mappings comes in. I'm going to go ahead and locate the spot where we find a link that has an asterisk next to it. That is the original guide location. I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm now looking at a guide that contains that actual link, and I want to remove it. And it turns out it's right underneath here, on a box that ironically is called Useful Links. This one's no longer useful, so I'm going to use the Edit icon. And the options are a bit different based upon the fact that it's in a different page. I'm going to select Remove, and you'll notice that the SpringShare system is designed to double check to make sure that you actually want to take this particular step. You have to actually check the box that says, I understand that this cannot be undone, and then go ahead and delete it. That link is gone from the guide. I'm going to go above and close this tab. I still see this box appearing here for the add, edit content. My advice at this step is just to go ahead and click on cancel. We noticed it's still appearing here. Let's see what happens when we reload the page. It's still there, so I have to remove it from the report. And I've done that. This concludes the Link Checker lesson. For more details, please review the resources available through our LibApps Directions for Staff Link Checker page.